Mike Sierra Foxtrot, this is Victor Charlie. Charlie, I've got a message for one of your passengers, Sam. Over. Mike Sierra Foxtrot, go ahead, DJ. I've got a message here for Kate, Sam. She lives me. She is now that you've woken her up. Uh, the message is from Nancy and Reeds. The dress is ready. I repeat, the dress is ready. I get the message, DJ. Uh, Kate, Nancy wants you to come around as soon as you land. Great. What's your ETA, Sam? We're diverting around the storm cell, DJ. We should be over the crossing in about 45 minutes. OK, I'll pass the message on to Nancy. Y'all have fun now, you hear? Keep still. We'll never get it done. Why can't we just wait for Kate? Oh, I want it looking nice for her. Oh! Useless bloody thing. before the heavens open up. going to kill me now. Please, can you do something? Well, for a start, we are not going to panic. Mm. Ah, it's ruined! <laughs> look, look, mad. Can't you just sew the thing up and we'll hurl it in the trent up? No, we're going to have to tell her. She didn't even get a chance to see it. And we could always cut the bottom of it and turn it into a miniskirt. <laughs> Go and check the bar. Come on, Nance. Come on, there, there must be something that we can do. <sighs> Get me a needle and thread and some bleach. And a miracle. <sighs> Kate should be back soon. Oh, no, she won't. Emma! Why? What's happened? I had an emergency on the way back from the clinic. Run. The aeroplane got bogged on the strip, so they won't be able to get out till the morning. Ah! That's fantastic! You think so? Oh, no, well, I mean, I know you've got to stay overnight tonight. Yes. What's this? Kate's wedding dress. What's left of it? it smells like Vic's been straining beer through it. He has. What happened? It's a long, long, depressing story. <laughs> I'm already depressed. And I've got all night, so... Aren't you a little hand sewing to pass the time? White, no sugar. <laughs> 
you're a good girl, Emma. <laughs> well, it's going to have to do, I'm afraid. It's not bad. I mean, do you think she'll notice? Well, you're going to tell her, aren't you? No, not me. Well, I think we should. Oh, look, why, why don't we just wait and, and see if she notices? If it was my dress, I would like to know. Yeah, I suppose. It's the smell. Look. How are we going to get rid of it? Well, don't you worry about that. The bleach will take care of that. Oh, bleach. Yes, Mum used to use bleach all the time, especially on Sam's footy shorts. Hi, Nancy. Are you finished, Eve? Just about. Well, give us a hand with the 10 o'clock rush, will you? They're thirstier than a herd of camels out there tonight. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Now, look here, girls. Warm water and give it a good soak. OK. Oh. OK, how much bleach do we use? Well, it's on the label. It's faded. I can't read it. I've never used bleach for. It stinks. No, but so does the dress in. Come on. She said to just give it a good soak. I don't know the more you put in the wider it gets. Yep, but I can't make it any worse than it is. Done. Me too. Well, you girls have got a job here any time you want. <laughs> oh, yes. A dollar a week and all the slops you can drink. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, girls. Let's go have a look at the dress. How long has it been? Oh, more than an hour. Well, that should be long enough. Yeah, I just have it got rid of the beard stain. Oh. oh, no. Oh, how much bleach did you put in? Oh, that was nearly full. You could bleach an elephant white with that much. Oh, what are we going to do? I don't know. Maybe I could persuade Jeff not to marry Kate after all. I don't think that's really an option, Paula. I wonder. I haven't opened this in years. What's in it? Memories. Moth balls. 34 years of memories. Well, let's see what we've got. In here. Ah, here it is. Nancy, it's beautiful. It's perfect. It's mine. Well, with a stitch here and a Tuck there. It'll soon be Kate's. Nancy, you're wonderful. Mm. What would we do without you? <laughs> Leave town, I should imagine. <laughs> <laughs>